The National Weather Service in Burlington, Vermont, would like to announce its Open Burning Weather Awareness Campaign for 2014. This campaign is an opportunity to educate the community with respect to the impacts weather can have on open burning. In addition, this campaign is a partnership with the Vermont Department of Forests, Parks, and Recreation, Vermont Emergency Management, the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation Forest Rangers, and New York County Emergency Managers. All this week, we will be discussing various topics related to fire weather and fuels that can provide you with a better awareness when doing any open burning this spring. We'll start today with a look at fire climatology across northern New York and much of Vermont. On Tuesday, we'll examine the types of fuels that burn and why they might burn more easily in the spring. On Wednesday, we will look at the National Fire Danger Rating System and what it can tell us about fire danger. When certain weather conditions develop and fuels are critically dry, we can develop red flag events. We'll define red flag events on Thursday and then conclude Friday with the fire weather products and services we provide forestry personnel and the general public. So let's go ahead and look at some fire climatology for New York and Vermont. With respect to New York, looking at data from 1975 through 2006, there have been 10,082 fires for an average of 315 per year. The most fires that New York State DEC forest rangers responded to were 673 in 1999, and the least amount was 81 back in 1996. Meanwhile, in Vermont, there have been 5,607 known fires reported to the Vermont Department of Forest, Parks, and Recreation between 1980 and 2012. This is an average of around 170 fires per year. The most number of fires reported in one year were 366 back in 1985, and the least amount was 28 back in 2011. Taking a look at the monthly distribution of fires across New York and Vermont, it becomes very clear when our peak fire weather season occurs. It's April and May. In fact, 74% of all fires in Vermont in a given year occur in April and May. And across New York, it's 54% of all fires in a given year that occur in April and May. With respect to the acreage burned by fires across the area, 89% of all fires in New York are less than 10 acres. The largest fire in New York occurred on August 24, 1995 at Riverhead in Suffolk County. In Vermont, 95% of all fires are less than 10 acres. In fact, 91% of all fires are less than 5 acres, and 59% of all fires are less than 1 acre. The largest fire in Vermont occurred on October 30, 1982 in Addison County. The fire burned 350 acres. And finally, if we take a look at the causes of fires, we'll find burning debris is the number one cause in both Vermont and New York. In Vermont, 41% of all fires are caused by burning debris, and in New York, it's 33%. Weather factors such as lightning, which produce many fires in the western United States, only account for 3% of the fire starts in New York, and 2% in Vermont. Thank you for watching this presentation on our 2014 Open Burning Weather Awareness Campaign. Like us on fa Facebook and follow us on Twitter at NWS Burlington.